My name is Jack Nemirov and I live in Sun City, Arizona. I'm having this life bath made so that the story of what I experienced during World War II and making the invasion on Omaha Beach in uh, France on June 6, 1944 and also my entrance into Dachau as a liberator on May 1st, 1945 can live on beyond my tenure on Earth. I expect to feel as if I'm uh, <laughs> in the midst of claustrophobia. <laughs> Not speak when I do around your neck. Okay. No more talking. I'm gonna push your mouth around a little bit, but let it go back to kind of a normal, nice expression. You gotta be patient, it takes a little while to take this off. Hopefully you will not be in too much pain. It sometimes sticks to the hair a little bit, but you will not lose any hair. It sticks, but it frees itself up. The minute I take this off, I will know what kind of a cast, if I made a good impression or not. Wriggle your nose and and try to free it up yourself from the inside. I would love to be able to come straight off, but I don't know. I don't want you to be in too much pain here. Jack probably feels like he's going to lose some hair, but he really won't. I think I can pull it straight off. Does it hurt? Breathe the this again once I get it off. Even. You know, kind of get it back in shape because I am bending it in order to get it off. You're free. What? You're free. <laughs> hey, here's what I look for. What do you Here's for? what I look for. A beautiful impression. <laughs> You see, 
When I hold it up to the light, this is the uh, time I have the opportunity to see where the weak spots are and uh, so I can reinforce it before I close the eyes and close the uh, nostrils and uh, to get it prepared for casting. What, what, you are you, wonderful. what did you use for a plastering agent, Botox? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are wonderful. I would like to introduce you to a Holocaust survivor and his name is Sam Harris and he's the president of the uh, Holocaust Foundation in Illinois and he insisted he said Bob when you do this last mask of me can you possibly capture me smiling because I don't want to have a sad or depressed look on my face and I want the Nazis to know that they didn't do what they wanted to do by killing every Jew on earth and he felt happy about that. Would you ever do this again? When I reach my 95th birthday, call me. 